process? Chairman, I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> I mean, I guess with you, but you can, is it mechanically possible? Sure it is, once you get all the memory cards in, to be able to go out and ship and restart up a, um, an optical scan. My only concern would be, obviously these are, these are individuals that uh, we want to make sure that, that, um, that we go do, provide due diligence, and I, my, my recommendation would be that to, uh, to err on the side of caution and make sure that we, give, that we, that we have them all in the right place and, and provide them with safe custody. Rather than trying to put them into a, a, a hurried up process this evening, I would, I would suggest we want to go through and put them as part of the official. Same as we would for any, for, I mean, same as in the punch card world, if, if there were if there were ballots that kind of came in, you're going to get some of these things that be in optical, and going to be in provisional ballot envelopes, or they'll be in provisional ballot envelopes marked differently. So I, I, my, I would just err on the side of caution and want to run them through with all the other scan operations. So you can do the diagnostic testing and the LNA testing and everything else you did on the front end of this last scan today. So that would be my suggestion. Is it mechanically possible to do it? Probably. I mean, I, I just I just don't know at this point. I can go down and probably figure it out and get an answer for you whether we can do it or not. But you're basically well, shutting I down one. The real key is how many. We just don't know how many ballots are involved in this. Well, you have the most number of pages that you have at any location was, I believe, like 75, correct? And every, I read that every single precinct was 75. The minimum was 75. The minimum 75. So you would you would figure out if, if you could, the most that I heard. At any one point, in, at one it was I think Coventry Elementary, which I think was 100, had, had, had people had voted absentee or had voted uh, using optical scan ballots today. So I don't think it's going to be an, an enormous number. Um, and, and you have to also then rebatch them. You have to sort them by city ward and precinct. There is a process you have to go through to make sure that the system accepts them. So there is some back end work you'd have to do, and it would ultimately delay the count for this evening. Uh, but it's just, you know, again, if it's Direction this board to try to figure out if we could do that, we would just try to figure it out. Oh, it would be nice to have an idea of how many are in that category. And uh, I mean, I don't think we agree. Partially with, with Mr. Hayes, that we could do it in the, uh, the official plan would make sense because they are optical scan ballots, but if it, it is not a great difficulty if we could identify how many are out there in that category. And again, we know where they are. Because we just pretty much went through and, and, and uh, identified the locations that we had to run optical scan until the electronic voting came up. It's just a matter of being able to identify how many there are. And these are approximately 20, in fact, approximately 20 precincts, am I correct? That's an estimate. That's an estimate. That's an estimate. It could be higher or more. It's not going to be a problem to get the numbers. Scanning in write in optical scan ballots 